Florida is one of the leading states for the hydroponic production of horticultural crops. Traditionally, the industry began as a, an industry growing primarily tomatoes, cucumbers, and lettuce. Those were the primary crops, but boy, today we have an opportunity to grow all kinds of new alternative specialty crops hydroponically here in Florida. Dan, I know you've got an excellent research program at the University of Florida to help us figure out these opportunities for, for growers here in the state. And I know you've had some tremendous success in developing products that are being used commercially here in the state of Florida. Yes, Bob, we'll go through some of these really quickly with you. One of the things that we found out that people prefer color in their product, both because of what it looks like, but especially because of flavor. These are in fact red, yellow, orange peppers that are totally ripe and are very sweet. We also found that with our cucumber industry, we had a problem with the traditional cucumber crops that we had to wrap them. And most people don't want to buy a large cucumber fruit like that. So what we tried to do is develop this new cultivars from Israel in the Middle East, which have taken on very nicely, which do not have to be wrapped. The skin does not have to be cut off them, and there are no seeds within the, inside the fruit. Other traditional crops that we've adapted to greenhouse hydroponics are the various squashes that are in front of you here that we in fact call baby squash. And a baby squash is exactly what it says. It's a, a flower that has opened and we ha harvest it usually on the day of opening. These in fact opened yesterday. So that if we break off the flower bud, we have what is traditionally sold in the store for very high prices, a baby squash. Traditionally strawberries, especially in Florida, are grown in the field and we can grow them in troughs in the greenhouse. We have a very clean product. We don't have to use chemicals to produce them and we find that we can leave the stems on for special days like Valentine's Day. And we've also got into this specialty melaton, melons. This is called Gallia melon. It's a little bit different on the outside with the netting. It has a yellow outside skin. When we cut it inside, we find it has a green flesh. The nice thing about this melon is that it is very flavorful. It has tremendous aroma and it has very high sugar content. We've been working with a French melon like this, a Charente, which is also high quality, very high sugar and very nice aroma. And we've gotten into some other types such as this canary, which is of course the color here, canary melon, which is a very good store and which also brings a very good price at retail. So Dan, I see that, you know, the, I know that growers have already adopted some of the products that you've been working on, things like the colored bell pepper and these miniature cucumbers are being grown commercially here by our, by our Florida hydroponic producers. And I'm sure as time comes along, these other products will be seeing more and more of them being adopted by our commercial growers. The research that you're doing and the opportunity for graduate students to come into the University of Florida and do work I know is really, really important and has made a, a real positive impact on our Florida hydroponic industry. Yes, Bob, that's true. Right now we have about seven students that are working on various projects that you see in front of you. And one of the most important things to us is to bring this research directly to the farm and to the growers. And we do this through your field days, but we also do it working directly with growers. And that's how we've gotten peppers into the greenhouse. That's how we've gotten the cucumbers and now the strawberries. And we've got some growers trying the baby squash. Well, we look forward to some new future projects to help help our growers here in Florida. Thank you very much, Dan, for that review of the projects that research that you've got going on at the University of Florida. You're welcome, Bob.